Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Uh, before I do start, I would like to apologize to all my subscribers. Uh, sorry that I haven't been uploading any tutorials. It's just I've been so busy with other stuff that I didn't get really much time to make any or upload any. And anyways, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to interact with objects. And I'm going to show you an example. And in this case is doors. Now in our game we want to open doors if you go next to them and this is the result you're going to get. But this is not a final result because I don't like this way. I will be making tweaks to it. So if I enter this trigger and I press the E, the door opens. I press G when I leave the trigger. It closes it. And I enter it again. I can open. I can close. Open. And close. Okay, that's just one of them. Now, the second one is using them um, animations. So, this one right here, this garage looking door now if I walk up to this you're gonna see error miss uh, not error you're gonna see a message underneath saying you hit the door now if I press E it's gonna play an animation like so and the door opens now that one uses a ray cast now what I will be doing is I'll be combining both the reason is if I just close this door quickly if I go right next to this door, well, let me just change sides. Oh god, it's lagging badly. Probably Camtasia. I'll have to find a new recorder. This is getting absolutely worse. Okay. As you can see, if I'm right next to the door and I press the E button, this is what happens. Now, we don't want that. Now, the way I would do it is probably have an animation. And run the door open 90 degrees, it'll open the opposite way, and our player will push the door. And if we're gonna close it, play a certain animation and close the door. Because this way it looks kind of stupid, it just passes right through your body, and we don't want that to happen. Anyways, let me delete all the scripts of the items so I can show you how it's done. Just gonna zoom into this, I'm gonna separate this. Gonna delete this and I'm gonna delete the script. There we go. Okay, the first thing you want to do actually is you want to make a new cube and name it main body and you can attach any texture to it, so it's like a door or whatever you want it to do. Then what you want to do is you want to make a new game object and make that the hinge. Now I'll explain why. If I try to rotate this in the y-axis, just the cube, this is what happens. you see so what happens is if we make a hinge so create empty and place this where the door hinge will be so in this case it's going to be right here rename this to door you want to drag main body into door and this time make sure you have selected door and if you move the y axis you're going to see it's going to uh, rotate properly like we want it to. So the door ain't moving, it's the hinge, uh, the hinge that's moving. <clears throat> okay, so that's the result you want to get. So actually what's going to happen is we're going to rotate the door 90 degrees. So 90 degrees in here, that's, your, that's what you're going to get. And if we put it back to zero, that's what we're going to get. Okay, that's all good. Now the next thing is we want to have a collider. So make sure you got your door selected, not the actual cube, the hinge we made, and click on component, part uh, physics, box collider, makes a really small box, put the X size to 600, let me see if it's big enough, that's way too big, 400, uh, too small. 
600 will be fine and the y to 400 and it's z to I would say 500 and we want to center this so just sorry another y axis um, along the z axis drag it till it's perfectly centered like so there we go save that now I'm going to quickly test something and it's going to check something out okay now what's going to happen is this box collider if our player enters it we're going to set a boolean to true and when that boolean is true and if it, the key on the keyboard it's going to open a door 90 degrees and if we exit the trigger beyond these lines and if we press the G you can close it now I don't really like that but later on I will be changing that I will be actually using Raycast and changing a lot of things around so if we about here we can open the door and if we're about this far we can't open it or close it because in this case if you exit the trigger you can close the door which I really find rather strange so yeah uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to make this a trigger and I'll show you why if we go back into the game mode at the moment you can see the trigger right there or the box collider sorry and if you try to walk up to this door this is what's going to happen that box collider is preventing us from going um, any further next to the door so what you want to do is you want to stop the game and set this as a trigger run it and this time you should be able to go through the trigger the box collider sorry there you go like so mind the camera I'm still fixing bits and bobs okay save this and let's start creating the script for this uh, so the first thing you want is to create a new JavaScript in your FPS folder script script folder sorry and you want to call this door int enter yeah short for interaction so door interaction double click and open this in more develop Uh, I've done this script before. I'm just gonna reload from disk, so it's empty. There we go. Gonna leave some space, and the first thing I want to do is define the variables. Now, the first thing I want is how smooth the door will open. So we want var smooth. Oh bloody hell! But I think this today. It's gonna be type float. It's gonna be equals to 1.5. Now I would advise you to keep this a low value. Because if it's a high value like say 20 or 10, 5, the door will open so fast that it looks unreal. You can tweak it depending on what game you're making, obviously. Anyways, the next one we need is a var open angle. Now this is how much our door is going to open. It's going to be type float. And we're gonna, we said 90 degrees, so 90.0 close that for close angle and this one's going to be a type float as well and this one's going to be set to 0, 0.0 so back to its original rotation and the next one we need is open door and enter trigger so for open door it's going to be a type boolean it's going to be equal to false by default for enter trigger it's going to be a type boolean it's going to be equals to false by default okay we've got the variable set up now the first thing I'm going to do is create new two functions that are right at the bottom I'm going to call this function on trigger enter so capital O lowercase n capital T R I G G R and capital E for the enter. Open bracket and we're gonna pass a new verb inside of this and we're gonna call it call and this is gonna be a type collider. 
close that open bracket close bracket and I'll explain afterwards why we need the call not right now copy that new function paste it underneath the top one and instead of having it called on trigger enter we want to say on trigger exit so if we enter the trigger we want to enable enter trigger to true and then open door to true as well so we can open the door pressing the E key okay on the update function I'm just gonna put a little statement of what we're gonna do we're gonna say we are now going to set the door angles there we go and the first thing we want to do now is a new statement so we're going to say if open bracket open door is equals equals true what do we want our door to do rotate 90 so we're going to have a new temporary variable for and we're going to call this door open and it's going to be equal to a quaternion dot Euler open bracket and we're going to call nothing on the X so X is going to be a zero what's the Y axis float going to be and that's going to be equal to an open angle so 90 degrees and the Z floats going to be zero as well so we've said in the temporary variable that our open door angle is going to be 90 in the Y and then we're going to start calling that on the transform so transform dot local rotation equals a quaternion dot slurp open bracket our transform position dot local rotation sorry not position comma the door open we just created above and um, time dot delta time time smooth how smooth you want the door to open okay now I just want to check all the brackets in the right place yeah copy this from the if statement right to the last bracket make sure you're not selecting the last last bracket which is closing the update function the one that closes the if statement underneath that paste the same thing again and instead of having if open doors equals equal true put it to false like so and this one's going to be equal to now close angle instead of open angle and you want to change in this name to door closed you want to copy this and you want to paste it where it says door open save that just going to go in unity and make sure I got no errors okay fantastic back into model develop now that we've done that we're going to find out if we're in the trigger and if we hit the E key so we're going to say if open bracket enter trigger is equals equals to true close bracket open bracket open curly brace sorry close curly brace we're going to say if we're in the trigger and it's true and if we press our input dot get key open bracket key code dot um, E key close this twice open bracket close bracket and uh, if we do press the E key when the enter trigger is true we want to set open door to equals true so open door equals true like so and otherwise else 
if open bracket input dot get key open bracket key code dot g I'm going to use g to close my door and I'm just going to say open door equals false save that okay the top part's completely covered now let's move on to the on trigger entry thingy function sorry so we're going to say if open bracket call so we're going to say if our player has entered the box collider then we want on trigger entity equals true enter trigger sorry so call dot game object dot tag we're going to check and see what objects enter the trigger and if it's our player enable the boolean call enter trigger equals equals player close bracket open curly brace close curly brace if our player enters the trigger we want enter trigger to equals to true save that I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into this the exit function and I'm going to set enter trigger to false like so save that now this script's completely done back into unity and the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your main player zoom right onto it and you want to check and see that the tag is set to player now if you don't know how to do tags I'll show you how to set one so you see where it says add tag you click on that and you have something called tags right at the top and it's got size and elements now my element size is 50 I can change that to 12 and it just decreases that and as you can see I have an element called player already I'm just gonna for test purposes call this player to enter it save it click back on the player and if I hit this two arrows here again on the tag button you can see it's going to bring a drop down list and you can see player 2 is added there now by default unity makes a player by default and I'm going to make sure my main player is tagged as player save that click on door and drag your new script onto that and you want to make sure the box out of the trigger save it and we're going to test this out okay so we're gonna walk up to the door and you're gonna see enter triggers equal to true there we go if I press E now my door is gonna open fantastic like so and if I get up my trigger like so and press G I can close the door now the thing I was going to show you is this, if I'm in the trigger and press E, now if I leave this trigger, I just want to check something, if I go far away, can I still close it? See that's a problem right there. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll sort this out later on. What I'm going to do instead is, use the same method, but at the same time use a raycast, and when we close the door, we want to make sure that we're in the right distance so we can close it and for the open we're going to do the same thing as well okay so that's how you create interaction with objects like doors I will be doing other stuff like treasure boxes not treasure boxes but ammo boxes and etc but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to rate comment and subscribe